Hey, this is Tyler, Theater Design Company. Going to do uh, Tech Tuesday, week number 13, here in the uh, showroom, getting some office work done. Uh, this week, I'm going to go over just like three of the coolest tools that we use out in the industry. I've got another video already that kind of goes over all our low voltage tools. But what I wanted to go over today was uh, three specific tools. So, Pico Pencil. Wanted to go over another tool that we've been using, which is a marking pin. And this has been really cool for TV mounts and a few things like that, so I'll go over that. And then last is, you've probably even seen these if you're real active on social media, but are the new bit holders that allow you to carabine it onto your equipment bag. So those are really cool. So I'm gonna go over those three tools, kind of our Tech Tuesday for this one. It says some cool tools with links below to Amazon if you wanna buy them, and we'll go from there. All right, so I'm going to try to film these, and then I'll probably put these on my tripod to really get it. But first thing I'm going to go over is the carabiner bit holders. These things have been super cool. We used to throw our bits. You can still see them up there, up in there, and we'd lose them. So our most popular bits, we just throw them on the carabiner and throw them on the side of our bag right here, and we're set. They're stored. Obviously, the Pico pencil comes with the holder. It's got the uh, pencil sharpener at the end of it. And then the other cool thing about it is it comes with a bunch of replacement things you can get. So just our standard lead. It's got the colored lead, so you can use this for wood, for metal, different applications. And then again, you get the white, which is really good for metal. So use those there. Again, you can buy all this stuff on Amazon. Um, the Pico, actually, we've been buying this from a place called Woodcrafters down in Seattle. Uh, same with all this. This all came from Woodcrafters. But uh, I found out on Amazon it is just a hair bit cheaper. So there's those two. And then third is uh, kind of our air blow uh, marking pin here. So I'll go over how that works. So I'm gonna throw this on the tripod and I'll show you a few more features. All right, so I think you can hear me. Basically gonna go over, I'll just do the Pico real quick, show you one of the couple cool features about it. So obviously you got the lead that sits in there. The other nice thing about the Pico is the built-in sharpener can just get it ridiculously sharp. If you're doing some real fine, super fine detail work, you just spin this thing and you can just see it's super sharp and literally could stab someone. I mean, it's ultra sharp uh, on there. So you can do some real detailed marking, see how sharp you can get a line. So, you know, most normal pencils aren't gonna do that. So that's nice. Um, so that kind of goes with the Pico. I like the holder. And uh, again, I'll just try to show you here, but it, it just goes in my pocket here in my bag. And that's where it stores so that's pretty cool and then while well, i'm at it because i think you can see so you got the carabiner it's got a lock on it and so again that just goes i'll try to lift that up but on my bag that goes right here and then make sure it's locked so super cool and then as far as getting a bit out you just push forward on it pull it out and then when you push it back in it's locked in place so you don't lose them. So that's super cool. And then last, I grabbed a, just a, actually a piece of car stereo thing I had, but imagine that we needed to do a TV mount that has a similar hole like this and we're mounted on a wall. So this thing can set it to its on position and we can literally just push down and it makes a perfect mark. See, there's your center mark. So just absolutely awesome. So did a little less pressure there. And so now we have a perfect drill mark and it's gonna mount perfect. So this guy has been awesome for as far as what we've been doing. Um, really like this one. So it's called a chalk shot. So, and again, it's on lock position. So again, it just sits in our bag like that. And so that's it. So in a tech Tuesday, super simple, but hopefully three really cool tools that might help you out if you're in the industry or if you're just a homeowner DIY guy, these are the, the tools for you to use. Have a good day.